So um, I know your dad's a high school teacher. So how did he inform you in your life? Well, um, he was a wonderful parent, first of all, and, and incredibly patient and generous and kind, not only with me, but with his students. And um, he instilled uh, a lot of great qualities of what uh, to aspire to be. And I, and I honestly feel that you know, any personal success that I've had in my life stems from um, having that kind of guidance in the home and uh, unfortunately it differentiated me from the lives of a lot of my friends who were also talented, who had potential to, to do creative endeavors and may not have um, pursued them or had the confidence in themselves because they didn't have that um, encouragement. Um, so I really am very conscious and grateful for that, and part of me even uh, signing up to do this film was almost an homage to uh, the importance, representing the importance of uh, teaching, and teaching on a, on, a, on a much deeper level, not just a teacher in a classroom, but, but um, being present for young people. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Sammy said that um, you mentored her in many ways yeah. on the set because this, this was her first film. So um, did you sort of do that because of that? Like you can relate to what that's like? Being yeah, I, I also love her. She's a lovely human being and full of um, creativity and, and um, uh, intelligence and fearlessness and fragility and so I like to cultivate that. I like to help young people. I, I, I try to help any actor I work with actually. I, I can't stand uh, competitive uh, acting. It's, it's, it stems from insecurity actually. You have to listen and be present and encourage that person to be great because the better that person is the more the better you're going to be, the more believable that interaction is going to be. And so even just purely on, a, on the work level, you have to help elevate one another. And, uh, uh, but it's, it's very easy when you're working with someone that's so full of life, like Sammy. And you did some rock and acting in this Gillette ad. <laughs> I have to tell you. Oh, thanks. Yeah, everybody in the neighborhood, I've been back in Queens, and everybody in the neighborhood is like, oh, I saw you on the commercial. That's nice. It's very nice, actually. You, how did that, why did you decide to do that? Um, it seemed fun. I, uh, I actually directed a, a, a spot for them in, in Buenos Aires, and they were having some talks about me, and I had met some of the, the key people at the brand, and I tried to even direct that spot, but they had had their technical people all, all set. and So it was a... Stemmed it off as a creative endeavor, and I'm also, you know, I'm flattered that they, I'm a, they perceive me as a man of style, or however they they put it. It's nice. You must be getting Gillette for life now. Oh yeah, I've got a few few razors now in, in my collection. It's pretty good. <laughs> so what's your next project on the on the big screen? Well, I, uh, there's a few things brewing, but I just got back two days ago from China, which I did a, a really interesting Chinese language film with. Feng Xiao Gang, who's an epic director in China, and um, a pretty amazing experience. So you had to speak phonetically. Uh, yeah, well, I I understood what I was saying. I just had to definitely um, learn it phonetically. Yeah. yeah. And then and then you're off to um, another film, or you're. Um, there's a f couple things brewing, but I nothing's. Set, so I don't want to, I'm not in a place to say it yet. So you didn't do that Lindsay Lohan movie. What was that? comedy. Is Lindsay Lohan in that? Yeah. Movie? That, that's done. That was a skit comedy movie, but that was, that's, that's to prove I have a sense of humor, because people think I'm so intense and serious, they, they don't, <laughs> so I did a little, a little playing around. Thank you. Sure.